What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy and today I would like to congratulate Nasumi Sensei for reaching 100 chapters with Hitomi-chan is Shy with Strangers. Now this manga series has been out for about four years. Four years and it reached 100 chapters. This is fantastic to me, this is great. And I haven't been following it for four years. I've been following this for maybe one, but I like to watch, I like to keep reading chapters like back to back. And so I've caught up so much that I'm on to where I need to be and I can actually congratulate Nasumi Sensei for this because I'm here for that and I've read the chapter. So what makes Hitomi Chan is Shy of Strangers great? Well, if you like tomboys and fan service and non-pathetic MCs, this is just for you. This is just for you. This slice of life comedy, school life, romance type series is great. It reminds me of Tomo Chan as a girl. And if you like Tomo Chan, you'll definitely like Hitomi Chan because it involves a lot of misunderstandings because how aggressive she looks, but she's really, really, really adorable. And it is a wholesome series for all to enjoy. Now, speaking of the series, if you don't know about it, let me tell you a little bit about it, just from chapter one. Now in chapter one, Yu Usami, who's a second year, is the male MC. He comes across to Tomi-chan, who is female MC, on the train, on the way to school. Nothing out of the ordinary, just some girl glaring at him. And he's just like, What what did I do? Like he's like he's taken aback, like, what is going on here? And as it and as the chat and as the pages go on, as you read more through the pages, the glaring gets like even worse. And he's like scared at that point. And then it's a series of <laughs> it's just a series of unfortunate events, I guess you could say. He gets chased, he like gets like hunted down by Hitomi chan, and it's just hilarious because at the end of it, it's just like she didn't know how to get to the school. And of course, you saw me just like, well, you could do that with your phone. You know that, right? And she said, I can. So he's really just filling in what she's lacking, like giving her tips and tricks on all kinds of stuff because she's a Koha. She's under him. He's the second year. She's the first year. She doesn't know everything. And so she's like, she's very grateful for it. But the faces that she makes like turns people away and they just get scared. And it's just, it's so, it's so funny. It's so funny. I think this series would grab anyone's attention just from like the first three or four pages. If it doesn't grab your attention, you can call me a liar. Say what you will. I think this is great. It is what it is. I'm amazed that this hasn't got an anime adaptation, but I think this is going to get green light eventually. Maybe announced sometime this year because there's a lot of other series that have got green light. I mean, we got a season three of Rent a Girlfriend coming in July. Um... I believe we have another rom another rom com coming in July as well. I think it's Matani Senpai from work. That's an office rom com. Um, and if these series can just keep getting green light, there's no way Hitomi Chan is not going to get green light eventually. Like this has to be this has to get like made into an anime adaptation because I think the VA who plays Tomo Chan um, and the subs is most likely going to be Hitomi Chan. Like it's, it's a easy, it's a easy, just bring her over to, I can already like hear it and see it. I think it's going to be great. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I try to make it short as possible, not going too much. Um, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, comment. Let me know what you think about the series so far. If you've been reading it, if not, hopefully this gives you the chance to go and read it since it's, since it doesn't reach hundred chapters. And I'll try to keep filling you in on all kinds of stuff on my social media on Twitter, for that matter. I'll leave that in the description. I'll also leave the creator's Twitter account link in the description as well. But holla at your boy. I'm off here.